Good morning everybody, welcome to another video. Today I want to start a new series of videos on this channel which is simply called How To. And as you may have guessed by the name, these are some kinds of mini tutorials because I thought even though I'm not a professional filmmaker, I may have some techniques or workarounds which I could share with you and which could help you in your progress as a filmmaker. So the first video will be about editing to the beat because this is so important. Editing to the beat is one of the key techniques you should always keep in mind while editing a video to music. Because for one thing, a video perfectly edited to the beat is much more dynamic to the viewer as if you just lay out the footage without taking care for the beat. And for another thing, editing to the beat is a technique which could help you in such an easy way to add much more tension to your video. And today I want to show you some simple ways to perfectly beat match your footage. Some of you may think, so why can I just move around the clips a little bit until they fit the music? Because in the end, if you get used to the technique, I'm using the word technique very much today, your editing will be done so much faster and your beat matching will be much more accurate than if you're just moving around the clips. I'm going to explain this in Premiere Pro CC17, but you can use every other editing software you want to use, like Final Cut Pro 10, DaVinci Resolve, it's always the same. So let's jump right into it. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and as you can see, I already brought in some footage from last year's trip to Lisbon, which I want to use for this. I also brought in a song and shortened it a little bit because the original song was about five minutes long and this is way too long for a travel video. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom in and we're just gonna listen to the song. And try to find the first real beat. There it is. So, gonna get back. And you have to find the perfect spot exactly where the beat hits, which for a bass drum is a sound like Vuh. like this. Vuh. You you can you always can hear it. And for a snare, it's something like that, like shh. Some very high sounds. So for the bass, this is the perfect spot. You want to hit C and cut. Go to the snare. Here it hits. Cut. The thing is, I like cutting on snares because if you if you're not cutting on the first hit but on the second and the f and the fourth, like like snares normally, this raises the tension so much more. I will show you. So we have the first snare hit, and we're just gonna get two clips here, which is this one, just flying seagulls. We're gonna let this go for a while. First hit. And this is where we wanna cut this clip. And now, since we have already cut the audio, the footage always snaps right in position. So we get the next clip. Drag this here. Shorten it. Perfect. Next clip. Cut it again.
shorten the clip. So you can go through the song and create such a cut pattern right at the start or you can work your way through step by step as you're doing the edit. This totally depends on how you want to work. I like to do it step by step because this feels more natural to me and for me it's easier to kind of get a feeling on what I want the footage to look like and how I want the tension to be if I'm working my way through the song. So, and here we go. Another footage. Here I'm going to cut at the first hit. So it isn't always the same kind of cuts you're using. Here is the V, the bass. Cut. Getting it right in position. And here we go, we have the first 50 seconds of the footage already cut and it is perfectly matching the beat. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple technique. You can use this for any kind of music. You can also use this for any kind of footage it's always better to cut to the beat because it feels more dynamic. What you can also do if you're a little bit like me and you tend to drag and drop clips accidentally through your timeline, you can just lock the audio. So you still have the snap, but you can mess around with the audio track. And you always can unlock if you want to edit something. So that's it. Pretty simple, but pretty effective. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or want me to explain anything, just leave a comment and I see you guys next week.